Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Iron Patriot from the Iron Monger Wave. I honestly really like this figure. It would be cool to, I wish he came with a Norman Osborn head, but I know this is kind of at the beginning of the, you know, ramping up to the Marvel Legends, getting a little bit more attention. Um, but maybe one day we'll get, you know, maybe I'm hoping for an Amazon exclusive Dark Avenger set and we'll get a Norman Osborn head. Or my friend brought up a good idea, maybe hopefully Comic-Con. Uh, San Diego will give us a Dark Avenger set. But here we go. We'll go ahead and check out the details. Alright guys, so first off, we'll go ahead and just start off with the head sculpt. Um, it is the Extremis um, Iron Man armor, um, besides the star on the chest. But you can see it's got a nice uh, silver paint application on the face plate there. I think that looks really good. Along with the orange eyes, you can see some of the black uh, lining around those eyes. But it's a nice, uh, nice silver paint application. It's pretty clean. Uh, it's got a little black mouth, and otherwise it's more of that pearlized plastic on the red. You can kind of see some of the swirl marks in there, but I think that looks really cool. And then coming down his neck, you can see some of the rivets and the metal of the armor on his neck. Then you can see the nice star on the front. It's all sculpted. It's got that same silver uh, paint application as the front face. And that's little shoulder pads here. They're in that same uh, red, you know, marbleized plastic. Coming on the back here, you can see some rivets. Looks really cool. And it's got this nice, uh, more like a blue marbleized plastic here on its back. But I just love how you can see. I've always been a fan of the Extremist armor body. Uh, so when they reused it on this guy, I thought it looked cool. You can see some more of the lining at the plates of the armor. Looks really cool. Coming down the front of his stomach. It's got that nice silver paint application. It's going across the front. Along with the red again. And it goes back in the silver and the red. And the same thing with on the arms, I think that silver and red looks, I mean silver and blue looks really good. Um, just a really, you know, clean paint job. There's a little scuff here, but I think that's just from me moving it around. Um, it does have the red pins, it's just kind of how it is. Uh, then it has the red, because you use that red marbleized um, plastic on the front here. You can see the yellow and the uh, repulsor blasters. It's got an open hand on the right, looks good. And he's got more of a fist. You can still see the repulsor on there on the left hand. The one in the haul video, this is my other one, um, actually has two fists. That's because the guy actually, whoever had it before, um, had pulled off the extremist Iron Man hand and put it uh, the fist into here and then had two open hands on the extremist. I can show you later in a comparison so you don't hear me rambling too much. <laughs> so here's the blue again. It continues with that blue marbleized plastic along with the silver um, on the thighs. I think that looks really cool. Again, it's got a good scroll work. You can see a little circle. These little things can uh, rotate to get um, better leg articulation without having to worry about them uh, being popped off. So you can you know move it out and not worry about the rubbing, which is always a plus to me. And it continues with the red marbleized uh, plastic on the knees down to the feet. And it just kind of continues down. And it's got some pointy pointy toes there. And you can see the little boosters on the bottom also, which is cool. All right. So we're going to go over the articulation. Uh, so his head looks up very far. Actually, pretty far for an... Look at that. It looks all, pretty much straight all... Yeah, I'd say that's all the way up. Uh, it looks down. And you can also uh, look left and right, and he's got kind of that head rocker, but you can also kind of kind of shift it. Let's see, there we go. Uh, he's got ball joints in the shoulders, and these things move, the shoulder pads move out of the way fairly easy. And then they move forward and back, and it's just on a little pin, so you can kind of see it just pops right off if you wanted to. Looks a little weird. You just pop them back on. There we go. Uh, he's got an upper bicep swivel, um, double jointed elbows, uh, wrist rotation, also a hinge at the wrist. He's got a nice, let me zoom out guys. He's got a nice app crunch, crunches forward, continues with that blue, crunches back. And the silver continues, which is always nice. Also rotates, uh, kicks not so far, um, up. Eh. Not very far at all. Um, and then he spreads about that much. Got a rotation at the thigh, but it's not much. You can see some of the silver plastic or paint right there, but it looks really weird when you rotate it. But even when you rotate it, see, it doesn't still help him kick forward. Uh, he's got double jointed knees, no boot rotation. Ankles move down about that much. Move up. 
Um, no ankle rocker, but it does have the rotation. And no peggles on this feet. Alright, and I'll show you guys how tall Iron Patriot is. Alright guys, so Iron Patriot stands right around a little over 6 inches tall. And then here he is next to the movie Iron Patriot that was from the same wave. Uh, we've seen this body mold used dozens of times. Maybe not dozens, but quite a few times. So you can kind of see the movie Iron Patriot next to the comic Iron Patriot from Iron Man 3. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> and then here he is next to the Extremis Iron Man along with the Stealth variant. So get that. I'll move these guys over. I'm hoping the camera's not making you guys dizzy by bobbling up and around. But so you can get a good comparison of all the figures that have used this body mold. Um, but so you can see on the red one here, he's got a fist on the right side here, and then an open hand on the left. So in the haul video, if you guys noticed, um, the Iron Patriot had two fists. That's just because he popped that one off. They're not quite the same. Excuse me. They're not quite the same red. Uh, this is definitely more pearlized red, where this is just more of a darker red. So it looked kind of funky. Uh, I did end up switching them back, just because I'm weird that way. I like to keep them as original as possible. But this is another really cool Iron Man. Um, Extremis isn't even that much money either, so he's definitely worth picking up. I just think he's such a cool looking armor. But there you go, guys. That's my review on the Marvel Legends uh, Iron Patriot. I think he's a very cool figure. Um, great, they're going to build up Dark Avengers even though Arius is insanely expensive. But it's still a very cool figure to have. Um, I, my only downsides are, you know, I would do wish he could kind of kick forward a little bit more. So if you want to have him like doing a, you know, flying knee or something, I don't know. <laughs> you could. But also I, I just really wish I had a Norman Osborn head besides the one from the Green Goblin variant. Just because I don't want to try to force that off and break that figure just to put it on this guy. And plus it's kind of a yelling face the whole time. It would be cool to have a normal face. But there you go, guys. That's my, just kind of my opinion. Um, hope you guys like this review. Um, please leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe if you haven't. All right, thanks, guys. Have a great night. Take care.